What's up guys, Keith Kelf is Landscaping Employee Trap here in Michigan, uh, making a quick phone call, I mean a video in my kitchen. I haven't slept in like 30 hours, we're out plowing snow and salting, all that, it's great. But I just had a cognition I gotta share with you. It's all about speaking good about other people, and this is the reason why. Whether it be in form of, you know, on the internet, which we all know, or it be talking about other people, especially when the person is not present, whenever you... Uh, bring up somebody or talk about them or, or there's a conversation going on, always be the person who defends the person who is not present. You speak great about them. And I learned this really from Joe Rogan, why I look up to him and, and I've really, I'm really working on integrating this myself is someone will be talking trash about some other, some other uh, MME fighter or something. And then Joe Rogan will come back and he'll be like, but man, he's just a hell of a guy, man. If you ever met him in person, dude, his heart's in the right place, man. A hell of a guy, man. He's a hell of a fighter, and he's, dude, he's a great guy. He's a total sweetheart, what <laughs> Joe Rogan says. But what he's really communicating is, is character and integrity, is that you always see the good and the optimistic side in people. It's almost like being overly optimistic, because everybody, I don't believe that there are bad people. There is different levels of consciousness, and I talk about all that stuff. A, a, a lot of people are in the frame of their own ego, and they're getting their own needs met. And people want to have their ego stroked so they can feel good, right? So it's all about, it's, it's really all about that. So it's kind of like you're, you're sneaking the vitamins in with the ice cream. You got to give people the ice cream and so they can ah feel good. And then you could put your message in so it's a positive way. And if your heart and your intention is in the right place, people will still get you wrong. You see it all the time on, you know, on the forums and the lawn pros and things like that. A guy will say something, boom, and it made sense, right? He's getting a point across. But someone else who's in a completely different paradigm will be like, what? That's a bunch of bull, man. That guy's a that guy's a douchebag. Blah 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 blah. And you and now you can you can see that that guy was like the guy who's having a defense going on. He, that's not what the original guy was saying at all. What's this guy talking about? And then the other guy's got to explain it to him, and he still doesn't get it. And then worst of all, other people hop in on the bandwagon and start being like. Yeah, that guy's a douchebag because it, it's triggering all these landmines in the subconscious mind, right? That had to do with your own life. So the practice is to divorce yourself from that chaos of that moment and then see, hey, wait a second. Most people in their heart are good and they have good intentions and they're really trying to say something good. Even if a little bit of ego has slipped in there, it's think about it, man. And if you see the good in other people and you go and, you, man, dude... I see what you're saying there, and genuinely, genuinely, not trying to be an ass kisser if you know what I'm saying, what happened is opportunity grows out of that. I've watched it happen in my own life multiple times. I am no means a master by this. I'm very much uh, still immature in some of the aspects of my own life, and you can see my reflection. I'm in my pajamas, just got out of my snowplow stuff. Look at that. See? <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, we all got to grow. And this is a, it's a perfect opportunity. Every moment is a moment to grow more. All right. Thanks. Out.